This is the best day of the year. This is something all of us have worked towards for the last 12 months. Some of us, including those of us who are the staff of the Cloud Foundry Foundation, we've been working on it for exactly 110 days. So we are absolutely delighted to have you here. We're going to have an amazing time. Um, and I want to share with you what we think Cloud Foundry is. After listening to everyone from developers building Cloud Foundry, operators using it, executives, everyone from every stripe, every industry, we believe we know what it is. We think it is the open source platform for continuous innovation. It's become commonplace to say that we're at the dawn of a new era. We have supercomputers in our pockets. Sometimes we even make telephone calls on them. Increasingly, we're driving supercomputers down the highway. As screens get cheaper, as networking and compute gets ubiquitous, our expectations change. Human behavior is changing. We want information when we want it. We want it the way we want it. We want to do commerce that way. So there's a shift in business matching that shift in human behavior. Businesses that don't make the shift are going out of business. So the stakes are pretty high. What we need to move towards is a new model. Rita McGrath is a professor at Columbia Business School. She says that for the last several decades, we've sought out a business gold standard of competitive advantage that is sustainable. Capture a niche, exploit asymmetry, make a mint, do it over and over again. She says, in fact, every business is finding it's changing way too fast to be able to have competitive advantage anymore. So what's the solution? We believe it is continuous innovation. This sounds a lot like continuous integration. Yeah? Sound a little bit like continuous deployment? What we find is that in companies that are trying to keep up with the world, they're mixing and matching metaphors incorrectly. There's part of the business that's going agile. They're building new technologies, new apps, new experiences very fast. The business people are delighted, except it doesn't get into production. The production processes still take eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks. That's a very particular anti-pattern coined by Dave West and noted by our own community member, Matt Stein. Know what it's called? A water scrum fall. <laughs> As a community, we're going to help every company get out of this horrible trap of the water scrum fall. What we're going to teach them is to pair cloud-native applications with continuous delivery of business value, creating business capability teams, mashing disciplines together, believing that all of us are smarter together. How can we bring this together in a way that scales? That is continuous innovation. Business development and operations in two pizza teams, constantly collaborating, learning from the marketplace, shipping new software, every day, maybe multiple times a day, in a constant feedback loop that allows you to keep up. Now, any meaningful technology has a movement around it, right? Think about the favorite technologies you've come across in your career in the last few years, last few decades. For Linux, the movement was open source. It was this crazy, amazing idea that we could all equally share in intellectual property that we all build. No one person owns it. All of us get to use it. We collaborate in a symmetric fashion across vendors and users. The beauty of that collaboration has led us to today, and we now live in an age of open source. These are all obvious icons. You all know them. You know hundreds more. There was a day when the idea that an icon is something that only a company can have. Now we know an icon is something that a community can have. What's perhaps more interesting is that we live in an age of open source data centers. We're building larger and larger systems that have rapidly outstripped the ability of any one company to build all of it. So if we seek harmony across all of those open source projects, if we look to create a coherent stack where everything simply works together, if we can delete inefficiency from everybody's daily life, everybody benefits. So again, any meaningful technology has a movement around it. For Cloud Foundry, the movement is continuous innovation. We're going to help every business get out of the water scrum fall by creating harmony among dev and ops. 
Now, this is just not the chosen few, right? Many of you who are here are among the elite. You are the anointed dev and ops. You understand how to wire complex systems together in ways that simply work, but maybe not everybody can understand. When you have companies like Citi, where there are 40,000 developers and operators, you've got to include all of them, right? So how do we create something that all the devs and all of the ops can use together? What we need is a coherent platform. So what we have built together is a cloud-native application platform, Cloud Foundry. We're asked to de define Cloud Foundry, right? And everyone is going to have their own particular definition. But we believe that at its heart, a Cloud Foundry is a place of practice for continuous innovation. So as a noun, right, like Kleenex or Xerox, a Cloud Foundry is a place that you can get together and build new capabilities. It's pragmatic because it's a place of practice. You won't get there in the first shot. Just like a physical foundry where you build new products, new devices, new machines, you get better by sharing ideas with other artisans. And like a dojo, it's something that you can come to every day and get a little bit better. That's how we're going to improve. And finally, it's for continuous innovation. That's our cathedral. Now, it may seem strange to use the cathedral metaphor in an open source context, but it comes from Peter Drucker, the management guru of the 20th century. And he said that he took a trip to Dublin, and walking down the road, he saw three different men laying bricks. He thought he would conduct an experiment about the difference between activity and intention. He asked the first man, what are you doing? And he said, I'm laying bricks. He's got a brick, trowel, mortar. Absolutely true. He asked the second man, what are you doing? He said, I'm building a wall. Spread his arms out wide, he could see the span of the entire block. Fine. He asked the third bricklayer, what are you doing? And he pointed to the sky, and he lifted his eyes up, and he said, I'm building a great cathedral. So the cathedral that we're building here is continuous innovation. That's how we're going to enable our community, our companies, our organizations to survive and define the next 10 years. So what do we give you? We give you the technology to create the place, and we assemble the wisdom of the community to create the practices. Now, the technology that that movement is wrapped around is Cloud Foundry, a proper noun. It's an open source project that each of you use and contribute to. It is the cloud native application platform. So for the devs, microservices and speed, for ops, reliability and security. Don't live in the tyranny of the or. You need to have all of these in one place. They need to simply work. Collectively, we build the only multi-vendor and multi-cloud platform that lets you focus on what you want to focus on. It just runs. None of us are smart enough to know the shape of the future. We don't know if it's public or private. We don't know where we're going to need to move our applications. Very hard to look even five years down the road. And that's the source of a lot of tribalism. You see this kind of, these kind of dialectics in the industry. If you don't see one you like here, I'm sure that you've experienced a conversation just like this about this thing is better than that thing very recently. Linux versus Windows, public versus private, OpenStack versus VMware, J2EE versus .NET, build packs versus containers. For those uh, on the inside baseball track, Garden versus Docker. What we've collectively come to realize, though, and construct a platform that works is, as Bill Gates said, Spare us from the tyranny of the and, or, or the, the, from the tyranny of the or. Give us Linux and Windows. Let us run on and public clouds. Let us run OpenStack and VMware. Let us run all these places in all these ways. That's the only way that we can build something that will be resilient and last us for years forward. So we see a world of cloud computing that is ubiquitous and flexible, supporting public, private, and hybrid application environments. We see a world that is portable and interoperable, enabling users to move their applications wherever they need to go. We see a world that is vibrant and growing, underlying a massive ecosystem of applications and developers. It's the ecosystem that we are all building up here today. That's why you're here. We can create an efficient, trusted, open marketplace. Most importantly to me is the community that we see here today and that we see on the web and that we see on the VCAP dev mailing lists is a human community that is pragmatic. 
It's focused on exchanging practical experience. Every one of you here today, every one of us, I expect to learn a great deal. We should all walk away from this two days that we're spending together, knowing something and being able to do something we couldn't do before. We see a human community that's diverse. It is inclusive of people across race, gender, orientation, and lifestyle, because we know in our gut that none of us is as smart as all of us. Finally, we see a human community that is respectful and committed to listening to thoughtful and honest perspectives. I have come to realize that the Cloud Foundry community is a community of listeners. It allows us to learn from even the quietest voices. We know that working together, we can change the world. Welcome to the Cloud Foundry Summit 2015.